Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to create a character walk cycle uh, in After Effects using the Duik Bezel plugin. Uh, the main reason for uh, making this tutorial was to go over the setup for the leg rig in Duik. Okay, so we are going to look at how to set up the character and how to rig the leg, and then make the animation using the walk cycle automation in Duik Bezel. All right, so. All the graphics were downloaded from freepick.com. So I'm going to show you what I did in uh, freepick and go from there. So if you go to your browser, go to freepick.com and I looked for ball. All right. So you can use any of these balls. I I think I used there were four balls so maybe I think I used this one I'm not sure ah here this one I use this ball so you can use any other ball and the other thing I searched for was shoes and then I use this image and this shoe for this assignment all right so these are all free to download uh, and then the last thing I looked for was street okay and I use this street image uh, for the background all right so you can see there are many which you can choose from uh, the street has to be a little close up so you can this is too far so this won't work but this seems like a nice uh, street for the character to walk on to all right so, all right so once you download those uh, I have here leg rig okay so this was uh, this I didn't use so the character is here the street here. so I'll open this character file okay so I got the ball here and then I created uh, you can look at the ball layer so I'll hide everything so I added a circle uh, for the connection of the ball and the leg okay then I created a rounded rectangle for the leg okay so upper leg lower leg then the shoe is what I did for the shoe was I created a toe part okay and then I created a shoe part so we will look at that if I go to file open So I'll select the shoe and go to file new and then you can make it big what I did was created a new layer and created an ellipse that covers this part Okay, so based on this, and then you have to duplicate this layer, and this one will be toe. This can be called shoe. Okay, so I'll lock this layer, I'll hide this layer, 
So you only see the shoe layer and then you can simply erase the area that you don't want. Okay. And then you can zoom in and do this nicely and then you can do the same thing for the toe. So you can get rid of all this. So I, I'm using the, the square bracket tool so you can make the brush size big and small and then clean it up. Okay and then once you're done you don't need this one and then you'll have the front and the back of the shoe. Okay so do a clean job with that so that way you can the reason why you do it is so you can get this part happening now of course this is not working well because of the design on the shoe but if you have a plain shoe then it will work this is the only way to do it if you have this type of setup where you're not using the puppet pin tools okay so if you use a puppet pin tool for the shoe then it can be just one shoe and use puppet tool so I'm not using puppet tool for this particular project okay so you got to make sure that you have all these elements for your character in separate layers so you have the the shoe the upper leg lower leg and the ball all right and then once everything is ready we'll go to create a new project in after effects i will import the character file all right so one more thing uh, there is a toe layer shoe layer lower leg layer upper leg layer and the ball layer okay so make sure you have these layers import it as a composition and retain the layer size okay so if you double click you got the character go to composition composition settings I will use 1280 by 720 and I will use a white background okay so if you think that your character is big you can scale it down okay uh, now when you scale everything is scaling differently so what we can do is go to layer new null object and then we can select all these and link it to the null object select the null and scale it so the whole thing scales at 75 and then you can then delete the null object okay so you have all the layers i'll go to transparency and then lower the transparency so you can see the joints clearly okay these are the places where we are going to place our bones so we will go to window and look for our do it bezel plugin the plugin can be downloaded from the website you can google it it's a free plugin and then you have to copy it in the uh, scripts folder uh, on C drive program files Adobe I have created that in my other tutorial so you can look at those for how to download the plugin now we are going to create the legs so if you click on the leg properties we need a thigh calf foot and toe all of these so create a leg Okay, I'm going to close this window so we can focus on our legs. So we have, uh, this is what I want to get into, where to place the heel, where to place the toe, and where to place the toe end, all right? So this part will go here, where the leg is going to rotate, 
and if you go to display options you can reduce the size of your bone okay so it can match the roundness of your leg then the next one Again, I'll reduce this to 50. You can also reduce the change the color if you want. I'm not really worried about the color at this time. So this will go in the center here. This one I will again make it 50. And this one will go where the leg and the heel. So this is high shoe. So the ankle is going to be here okay so place it at the ankle where the objects are this one has to be 50 again and we need to find the center of this and this is where the end will be and this heel has to be at the heel Okay, so this is how the setup of the foot should be. If you don't have this separate, then you cannot get the bend here. So this is important to have one for this. Now, what I forgot to do is put the anchor points in the right place. So the toe is going to rotate from here. So we place the anchor point of the toe there the shoe is going to rotate from here this leg is going to rotate from the knee the thigh is going to rotate from the this place okay and the ball will be rotating from the hip which will be in the middle of the legs as well okay so this is these are the important steps so we'll unhide these bones and now we need to link our bones to the objects so what you can do is rename these properly for example the toe upper leg first we will look at so this one upper leg here is uh, represented by the thigh okay so this is the thigh and this is the upper leg so I'll change this to thigh then the next one is calf so this one will be called calf this one is foot and this one is toe all right so the thigh will be connected to thigh calf will connect to calf foot will connect to foot toe will connect to toe okay so our setup of the leg is done now we will select all the structures and go to animation actually window doing basil go to rigging Click on links and constraints and click on auto rig and I key. Okay, so it, it's going to add this controller. And what I want to you to look at is this part here. Okay, so once that is done, this is your foot roll. Okay, so this is important how the foot is going to behave. Here you can just control the heel going up and down if you want to make the character tap his leg. Then there's a deep toe and the toe itself. Okay, if you want the toe to bend. So that's the foot setup. Now what we want is that when you select this ball the whole thing should move all right so this thigh will link to the ball okay 
Okay. And you cannot directly link uh, to the ball, so I'll undo that. What we need to create is a controller for the body. So we go to Window, Twig Bezel, and we are going to go to Connector. here controller and we need to create the body controller okay so if you click on the ball and then click on the body controller the ball controller is created and now the thigh can link to the ball controller so when you select the ball And then the ball has to be connected to the ball controller as well so that way the ball is moving and this way you will be able to get the controllers for the foot and the leg now what has happened is we don't have the second leg so i'm going to select all these control d them move them up and we don't want them to link to anything we will create a new leg for it okay so I will hide the other legs to make life easy or we can just simply move it so this one goes here this one goes here This one goes here. This one will be here. This one will be here. And this one will be here. Okay, so the second one is created, and then we will link thigh two to thigh two calf two to calf two foot two to foot two toe two to toe two and thigh two links to C ball okay So now if you select C ball and hit the P key, okay, we have not created the controller for the foot. So I'll select this, select, shift select this, go to window, do a bezel, breaking, auto rig and IK. So we need this C to be on top and then this C where is the C ball? There it is. 
okay so if you select the C ball and hit the P key when you create the controller the connection is broken so we will look for the thigh and then we will relink it to C ball okay so these two are created so that's our basic setup now what we will do is we will hide the structures everything that you don't want to see will be hidden so let us select all these s elements and all these foot rolls i don't know why they're locked so this will we will shy them off And hide them so now we have all these body parts and then the three controllers okay so the C ball foot and foot you can see that the foot when you select the foot two the body has to be between the two legs so you can work that out the ball has to be between this okay so that's the setup now in the next class we will look at how to create the animation how to set up the background and render the movie okay so see you in the second part